legit, I woke up this morning and I thought it was Friday. It's Thursday. Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome to today's bonus video. So this is an extra video that I am posting this week on my channel because I have a plan to post every Thursday like I always do. So subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell notification so that you can be notified on Thursdays when I post, but then also on days that I do bonus videos. So I'm doing a bonus video because like I said, I have plans for what videos I'm posting on Thursdays, but then I stumbled across this readathon and I was like, oh my word, I really want to do it, but I don't want to bump any of my videos back a week, especially since uh, this next coming one is uh, surrounded by a holiday that will be coming up. So I'm really excited to share that video with you. But enough about upcoming videos, let's talk about today's video. So the Desert Readathon is happening during the month of May, I believe. It is a month long readathon and it is hosted by Esme. And I will have the announcement video linked down below so that you guys can watch it. And she is really great because not only does she have an announcement video and the TBR already up, she posted them really early so that people could have lots of time to plan and decide. But she also has recommendation videos of other books that you can use for the readathon in order to really get into the theme and the vibe of the readathon. So the Desert Readathon is obviously, like I said, happening during May. And so what's really cool is that she is really into board games like I am, which is so fun. Cute, like quick overview of my personal board game shelf, which is an absolute mess right now. So just be warned. Like I said, our game shelf is a huge mess right now because we just acquired a bunch of new games recently and we cannot fit them on here. So we've got this row of games right here, but then if you go behind, there are a couple more games. We got some of the Wingspan, Oceans, um, yeah, so like I love her passion for board games like her passion for books as I can relate. Um, so yeah, there's that. Yeah, so when this readathon was centered around a board game that she created based on her own TBR board games every month, I was like, oh my word, not only is the theme super fun and something I want to partake in, but the delivery and the aesthetic is gorgeous. So I'm super excited. Um, how it's going to work is there is a board game and there is a link to a Google Drive where you can get the board game and the prompts and explained version of the prompts and you basically you roll a die and you kind of go around the board game all the way until you hit the middle or until you run out of uh, time to read. It's very much a readathon where you can either read as much as you can whether it be like two or three books or like a thousand books. If you could literally do that, you can. Um, well, actually, no, I guess it would be just under 62 books because there are only 62 squares and some of them are like, go back to this, go forward to this roll again. Um, so how I'm going to do it is I'm going to do all of my rolls right now because May is going to be a very interesting month for me. I have my last day of classes, May 3rd, which means I have about a week and a half, almost two weeks of exams. Um, so I'm gonna be decently busy for the first half of May, just kind of doing that, but then also it's my birthday in the first half of May, so I'll also celebrate a little bit. Um, but then I'll have the complete second half of May where I'm only working, so I should have a lot more time to read. So I'm, I'm gonna go through all the prompts today, make a list of all the prompts, um, go through the books I've selected for those prompts afterwards so that I can efficiently plan out so that I can complete the readathon because I really like completing things. I need to complete things. Um, so that's basically how it's going to go. I am actually going to use a d20 sided die. Uh, you can use whatever die you want or have or you can even use like an online die roller or random number generator. She recommends somewhere between the six and 12 sided die, um, but I play D&D &D, so I have a whole bunch of die, I have, I have of dice, I have complete sets, they're, they're really pretty. 
they're like really and so I'm going to be doing a 20 sided die because May is going to be so busy. It's the idea of I want to read books, but I don't know if I'm going to have the time, so I want to complete the readathon, so I'm going to try and go through it as quickly as possible. And like I said before, the end prompt number 62 is a desert themed book, and I don't have a lot of desert themed book on books on my shelves. Um, so not quite as many of these books will most likely be desert themed, like they're obviously still going to fit the prompt even if I have to stretch it a little bit because I'm only going to use books on my TBR that I own. I'm not going to be buying books for this readathon and I probably won't be rereading because I have a bunch of new books that I need to read. So yeah, that's how it's going to work. Let's get into the rolling. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. I've got my computer has the little board and I'm using a figurine from Gloomhaven. And I've got my Kindle with the prompts right next to me and I will be using this D20 die. It might be kind of hard for you guys to see the numbers, but I promise I will let you know what they are. I'm using this one though because it is golden, kind of uh, like the desert and it's got little flowers on the inside. It was actually a gift. Um, and I love it very much, so hopefully it will bring me good luck, and let's start the rolling. That's a five. So we're off to a very slow start. Five, and that will be a five-star prediction. I'm going to be writing down all the ones that I get so that I can make a list and come up with my TBR, and we'll go over all the books that I've chosen at the end of the video going through the prompts. So first up, number five is a five star prediction. Alrighty. Then, let's roll again. That is an 11. Yeah, I just, I don't know if it's ever gonna work. Um, so that's gonna go 16, which is up there, which if we go over here, is a wild card. Ooh, yes. Wild card. That is amazing. So I can choose whatever I want. Um, plus, there's no way I'm going to know what I want to use my wild card card on now. So I will. That's why I'm doing it all at the end. All right. Oh, natural 20. Natural 20. All right. So far on 16, that will get us all the way to 36 already which is way over here and that means I have to go to the other oh, stay with me computer next it says it's a random TBR book so oh my I don't know hmm random TBR I might just put all the books on my TBR into a random generator and I will select one that the internet randomly gives me. But wow. Looking good. This is why I chose the D20 here, guys. And we got a five again. So then that should bring us to 41. 41 is rebelling. Ooh. 41 rebelling. 18. Another big number. Nines. That means I have to do math. So 959, I believe. If I can add that correctly. 41 to 59 is, yeah, yeah, I think that's it. 59. Book with sword fights. That's going to be a real interesting one. I don't know if I have a lot of books with sword fights in them per se. I'm also going to try to avoid doubling up, but if I have to, I will. Um, but yeah, all right, I'll figure that out in a little bit. So I need a three or more in order to get to 62, the last space in the very middle. So, and I got a five. So I'm up to 62 and 62 just is the prompt to read a desert book. It's not even on the sheets because that's the whole point of this readathon. And that brings me to a total of six books that I'll be needing to read in order to complete this readathon this May. Oh, this was so much fun! Alright, I'm going to film the rest of this video sitting down because my tripod broke. 
sad days. So, I have picked out all the books from my TBR for each of the prompts that we just went through on the game board on my coffee table just a moment ago. So I'm gonna go through and tell you guys about it. So the first one was a five-star prediction and I am going with The Gilded Ones by Namino Forna. And I, as soon as I heard the description for this and as soon as I like saw the cover for it, I, I knew that I was gonna love this book. Um, so I'm predicting it's going to be a five-star. Obviously, I'm a little nervous because it's, it's not small, but it's not like big or anything. And this is not my first readathon of the year, but it kind of is because like, I did a TBR video for another readathon and then proceeded to read like none of the books. So it, it was a hard time. So this is the first readathon of the year that I think I'm gonna actually be able to complete. But I'm gonna be starting it off with a thicker book, which is slightly nerve wracking. So The Gilded Ones is about our main character who uh, goes through a blood spilling ritual and it reveals that her blood spills gold instead of red and so she is given a choice of either kind of be outcast from the village and like no one likes her because they're going to be like she's a demon blah 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 um, or she can join an army for the throne I think how cool is that right so it's going to be like just a bunch of badass warrior women whose blood run gold and so I'm really excited so this will be the first one that I'm reading because I will be reading them in order of the game board then the second prompt on my list was a wild card. And so I'm going with With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedos. And I chose this one for my wild card because even though it may not be like desert vibes per se, I still think it'll have a lot of warm culture references and it's gonna have a lot of delicious food and heat, different kinds of heat. Um, plus I just really want to read this book um, and it's, it's gorgeous and it's got a lot of warm colors on the cover so I tried <laughs> and then the third prompt for me was a random book from my TBR and so the book that it ended up going with was Homegoing by Yag Yassi and I am very happy with this it's a nice short read so hopefully it won't take me too long to get through um, but it takes place in Ghana and it follows two different sisters who are raised in two very different lives um, and so one will marry an Englishman and live a life of luxury and the other stays in the village will be captured in a raid and so I think this is going to be a very powerful book and I mean yeah I don't I'm really excited to read this again it kind of has warm colors I don't know if it'll have necessarily too much desert vibes because it's in Ghana taking place in villages but we shall see then the fourth one on my TBR was a retelling, and I actually was watching someone else's TBR video. I was watching Jane's from the Bookaholic. I'll link her video down below. And she is also going to be reading this book for a different prompt, but she mentioned that it was a Sleeping Beauty retelling, and I was like, I did not know that. And she also said that this book has major desert vibes, which I also did not know. So the book that we're talking about and we're going to read is Girl Serpent Thorn by um, Melissa Bashardust. Bashardust. And I didn't know that this had major desert vibes. I guess I didn't assume that by the coloration of the book, which is like, come on, Laura. Come on. It's also a Sleeping Beauty retelling, apparently. So I'm like, oh, that's perfect. So, and also it's not too big. And I've been wanting to read this for spring, so perfect, yeah, all right, here we go then. Yes, I do know that I've stopped giving summaries of the books. I've talked about all of these books in other videos, so at this point I'm assuming that people know <laughs> what they are. If not, look it up on Goodreads. Cool. The fourth one, the fourth one for me was a book with sword fights, and I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I have a book on my TBR with sword fights, or at least that I am aware of. So I chose a book that I think has the possibility of having sword fights, but I also highly doubt that it actually does have them. But I'm not gonna know until I read it. And so I will be doing To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. 
Um, I chose this one as the one on my shelf that is most likely to have a sword fight due to the fact that it's a siren who has to become human. So I assume I'm hoping there are going to be pirates and then I'm hoping that those pirates have sword fights. Or, I mean, she also kills princes and takes their heart. So maybe it'll be a sword. <laughs> no, I, I'm fairly certain that this probably won't have sword fights in it but if it but it's the most likely on my shelf to have a sword fight so it's a complete guess it'll get me ready for summer yep i'm i'm going with it sorry might be a huge stretch and then the last one is prompt number 62 and that is obviously to read a book with desert vibes and I have a clear winner for this one on my shelf. It is the only book on my shelf that I bought knowing it has desert vibes and that is We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. This is a bit of a thicker one but it's the last one on the TBR so hopefully I'll be So this book kind of follows two characters, I believe. One is the prince, uh, the son of the sultan, and he's the prince of death or something. And the other is a woman who dresses up as a man who is a hunter and she does this in order to feed her village. And I believe there will be some hunt for an artifact. I'm wondering if it's gin related um, because we hunt the flame. And yeah, I bought this book recently and I definitely, I have so many books on my TBR that are desert themed, but I don't own any of them except for this one. This is the only book on my TBR that I own that is desert themed. So obviously when I saw this, I was like, oh, this is the book I'm going to read for the end. I just had to find a bunch of other books to get me there. So I will be ending with this beautiful, hunky desert book. Thank you all so much for watching. I had an absolute blast playing the game and planning out this TBR. Let me know if you are interested in doing this readathon as well. Like I said, I will have links down below to the announcement video and to the other person who I mentioned is doing this readathon as well. Again, it's taking place during the month of May. So if you're like me and you're going to be ending school in May, it might be a great way to really kick off your summer with reading a lot. If you have not already subscribed, Please do so, I post every Thursday except the occasional bonus video, which this video will be. Like the video if you enjoyed it, let me know down below if you read any of these books. Please let me know if there's a sword fight in To Kill a Kingdom. Please. Um, otherwise, let me know your thoughts down below. I would love to hear with you guys and continue the conversation and chit chat with you in the comments. Otherwise, I am also on other forms of social media like Instagram and technically I'm on Twitter, but I'm not there super often. Um, but I am on Instagram every day, so feel free to follow me on those as well. And until I see you guys in the next video, I wish you a happy reading.